you guys I might be turning on the water today so I'm gonna go over here and look around but yeah this is the the dam is right down there so I'm gonna walk down here and see what he has to say so you guys stay tuned I think you'll like what you see in this one I've never turned a river on so it looks like when the river's not on, so right now there's water in the riverbed. When it's not on, it's going down this big tube. So they just divert it around. That's gonna be a question we can ask our boy in here, see what he says about it. And we did get permission to come over here for all you haters out there. I talked to him and he told me I could come over here and check it out, so I am over here. Hey buddy. I want to check it out. Is it alright if I make a little video real quick yeah. on how this works? Yeah, so so we're at the Raquette River and you divert water. Yeah. Normally it's in that tube over there, right? right? So there is there's still 900 going through the unit. Okay. So we'll get up to 720. Right now we're at 250 going through the gate for you guys. At 10 o'clock is what you would consider a recreational release. Yeah. Go, so what's full capacity? What would you say is full? How much could you put through there? I don't know what it would be. Um, probably like 3,000. Wow, how often do you do that? Hardly ever. Hardly ever. <laughs> yeah, maybe in the spring, once, once in a great while. Yeah. So how do you know when to turn it on? Do you just look at your watch? Yeah. Or you? <laughs> where do you do that at? So everything's running here. So that's my indication over there. We're three tents open right now. That is what's in the river. That's how far the gate's open right now. 0.30 is how far the gate's open Three at the top. Of a foot. Yep. Is it coming from the bottom so yep. it lifts it up right there? Yep. And then what's this? That's your pond level. So this is all based on the height of, so there's rubber flash on the dam here. Okay. So that's where the water is actually at. It's we're two feet over crest. So the crest is the concrete. Okay. So we're allowed to have two feet of board which here is pneumatic flash. How do you know, do you have a CFS rating or do you just know it It's all, all calculated ahead of time. So. Yeah, how do you turn it up and down? So that's run over here on this PLC. Lower and raise. Oh, so you could just hit this yep. and that, it'll just keep going. Yep. So if you just held that down, we could drop three grand through there. It technically, yeah, I'll have to blow up. Yeah. Lower, it's oh, lower, it's lower down, yeah. So well, that's why I'm here. Normally this is in remote, and this is all run from Massachusetts. But since we actually know there's people in the bypass today, yeah. we have to man this And place. then if you need to, you can hit that emergency yeah. and it just slams yeah. it shut. Is it, a, is it a fast close or does it close it? About as fast, it's pretty close, pretty fast. Oh I mean, really, so not, you could shut this off. It's not instant, but, yeah. but the problem is on the crank the units up, because I can close that gate all day long, but the water's going to go over the board, yeah. so. <laughs> so they have to pick up on this end. Is it is it legal to kayak over the dam? No. No? <laughs> he was just asking, so I was like, I'll ask this guy. At all our facilities, we have boat balls installed. Yeah. And we're supposed to kick anybody out that's in Any, between here and the boat balls. That makes sense. That's how it is in the just, southeast. Yeah. Just safety, you you're know? not supposed to be past those boat right. balls. Once you get to them, you're supposed to go around them. People don't understand, like, when this is cranked up and we're sending 3,000 through the units, there's a lot of draw right there. Ooh, right here. Yeah. So there'll actually be a vortex in the water. Have you ever heard of anybody getting sucked down in there? Not anywhere? here, but we have in other facilities. I don't know. I think it was in New York. We had a father and a son and a kayak went through one of those gates. They got in front of it. Oh. They, they lived. But that they, had to be scary. They were beat up. I mean. <laughs> I'd be way more worried. How many gallons of water go through that tube? A lot. <laughs> Well, he said what? You said there's 900 still in the tube. Yeah. So he said there's 900 still in the tube, CFS. Wow. We still got one unit on down here. So this this feeds three units. Okay. So we make 30 megawatts out of Before that. Before I make the first move at eight, I had to I walk part way down just to make sure. No one's in the riverbed and all that. Not this time, but last time there was actually people down there already before eight. That just had stage to. stage in the watch. Yeah. <laughs> so I just warned them and let them know that the water's coming. Can we walk out through here? Yeah. Yep. I'd like to look at that. We're actually, there's 120 coming out of that gate. 
This is what we call mint flow. We have to keep this going down the bypass. But this is set for the summer. Now water we have to pass to keep fish alive in here. Oh. So when the when the dam's not running, this is like what do you call this? Like a mint flow for the fish. This is always on. So this will always have water right here. And that keeps that amount of water all the way in the bypass. Because if not, he would wipe out the it'd be a dry creek bed then and then yeah. Any fish that were in there would die. And how much do you normally keep in this? Well, this one's funky, right? Because it's dependent on walleye season, which varies up here. So for the summer, we're at 125 CFS. After Monday, we go back to 90, and we'll sit there for the winter. Just always. Yep. Yeah. Hey, check out the board deck. See right there? Well, that's yeah. only one unit on. Oh, uh, yeah. Imagine three. <laughs> So a little small vortex that you were talking about right in front of it's pulling through that. But there's, I mean, there's racks there to catch debris and stuff. So yeah. You couldn't get sucked. But you get sucked into the racks and you drown. But you wouldn't go through you the You wouldn't unit. go through the tube. Where does the tube come out at? Uh, I think it's three miles down. How far do you guys run? Um, not to where the lake is, but where uh, that last big rapid is. Okay. But we take out right below that. Okay. So you know where, where it hits the lake again? I do, yeah. Okay. Give you an idea how far it is. Okay. Yeah, that'd be in that tube for a yeah. while. Yeah. Are you allowed to run in? No, this would all be no trespassing up here, right? This is a inside tour of the dam for you guys. So this is what lifts it up. Look at these chains that lift that up. The gates get lifted by this right here, by this big dial. That gate, is that a gate there too? So that's, that's just extra if we ever need it in flood. So that's know. rarely open and you have to do it manually too, right? right? With right. a. I've never seen this open. It's just. Cause it would just come over the dam. Right, so keep in mind, so that's what rubber flash is there. Yeah. So if we had to, we could dump that and lose two feet of board. So you'd have all that spillway. So that, that actually drops. Yeah. I didn't know that. So. So if you had to, you would drop that down, which would pump even more water through there. Correct. And, and normally you said this stays remote. Yep. So they can, what they do is say we had a unit, something happened, the unit went down. They could adjust this gate to keep the river flow the same. Wow. Otherwise you'd have fluctuations all the time, yeah. right? So. so when you hit that upper and lower, this turns. Yep, that chain will bring, bring the gate up. So we got we got about eight minutes and we get to see another 250 dropped in it, right? Yep. How often do you have to maintain this? Is this something uh, you have to maintain? We go through these annually. We do a PM on them. How long has this dam been here? Uh, I believe this was built in the 30s. In the 30s. So they used to, this all used to be logging industry. Okay. So they used to run logs down the river. And all these spots were like, some, like a, a veneer mill. They'd shove so many logs off here, go to the next one, shove so many off. And there's a lot of history here. I mean, I'm only touching on it, you know. Yeah. But. <laughs> and then they all, then they just decided to turn it into electricity and, yeah. and dam it up, yeah. How many of these are down through here, these dams like this? Uh, so there's six above us. And how many megawatts does this push out? This facility is 30. 30, 30 a meg. day. 30 megs an hour. 30 megs an hour of power and I guess it goes to a substation it gets stored correct yep. and then it's distributed to wherever national. would this be considered a small one uh, this is our largest one but it does it well <laughs> it's from I some mean, of the dams at TVA right that's <laughs> it there's there's a lot bigger out there the yep. ones that are upstream from us they're uh, so there's three units here 10 megs a piece up rivers like they're all one units but they're like 24 or 25 yeah. megs a piece so when just for when water's in the creek bed, you're not making power. You're losing energy, right? right? We're we're not making anything on this today, so it's going it's going. And it's just kind of an agreement that you have with like yeah. recreational so use. We have licenses we have to follow, and this is all um, negotiated. So. Yeah. So is there any power being generated right now with what's in the tube? Yeah. So there, that's probably ten megs. I'm not sure what that unit's set. But at. when you open it fully. There's no electricity. So the one unit will stay on all day. 
What does it take to turn a unit? Um, they're all different sizes. Yeah. So these these are fairly good size. So we run like in the summertime, normal summer. Yeah. Down to like 450 flow, 450 CFS, and we can run at that. Okay. Whereas like our bigger units upriver, we can't run. But you need you need way more water to keep yeah. it going. Wow. So 30 megs. I mean, I guess that's. Is that not enough to run a city? I don't, I'm not really familiar with electricity. I don't know what the comparison would be. Yeah. I mean, yeah, probably. That's a lot. Well, we got about four minutes here. Yeah. check it out? I want to check you out. Um, you let me, uh, you, will you let me uh, low, upper it? Sure. Yes! <laughs> Score! Bucket list. Hey, check that bucket list off right there. So he's going to make a call to let him know he's about to open the dam up. Raise the dam. This raises it. This lowers it, and this will put it on a remote, and that's an emergency stop. So I, so he's going to let me actually raise the dam up. So I'm going to double the flow by hitting this one button right here. It's going to be raised there, lowered there, and that'll put it back into remote. Just push that once. You push this one now. Yep. And what's this do? This will be the alarm. This goes off, and then it talks through radio down to the next air horn. Now we can go and you can push raise. So see where the three is? We're okay. gonna go to eight, stop at eight. Okay, so you wanna yep. just start pushing now? Yep. So this is gonna raise it. Do I need to look at that while I'm raising yep. it? You can hold it on to it. 0. 0.36. So that's actually the gate coming off. So this is actually lifting the gate up, dropping water out. What's it at now? Five, five. Just tell me when. Actually lifting a gate on a dam. 7.3, is that what it says? Yep. Yeah. 7.4, I want to hit it at 8. Okay, that's a lot higher. Okay, I let off. Do I, one more? Oh, one. It'll probably go. We're at 7.9, people. You want me to just bump it? Yep, one more. I'm gonna, Apparently, I'm not as calibrated as he is. One more. There you go. Nailed it. So, uh oh. Where I gave everybody an extra CFS. Do you leave it at that? Yeah. So you guys can thank me for that little extra CFS of water. 0.81 yeah, so of your gate you're lifting eight, up. Eight tenths of a foot open now. Eight tenths of a foot open. Oh. It'd be in meters. Well, you guys can figure that out. I'm guessing it's that much. <laughs> wow. Well, dude, I appreciate you, you letting me do that. That was awesome. I've always wondered, like, how a dam operated inside. And, you know, I know this is a little smaller scale than, like, TVA and what we see yeah. down in um, East Tennessee. But, man, that's, that's pretty cool. And you're right. There's not really much to it. No. No. Most, most everything happens in the power. <laughs> All right, buddy. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thanks a lot.